Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of I, the Dragon Crew, and Beautiful Rabbit Hole King Deal, and the upcoming Lauren Frey, soon to be published. So, over the, uh, over the past couple of days, I've been streaming a lot, and I mean a lot, of cult classic visual novel murder mystery series Dog and Rampa. I've I've heard a little bit about it over the years. I I went into this almost completely blind, but I was aware that like Chihiro was a trap and that he does die. So that was that was kind of like the extent of my knowledge of the series. I have no idea like who the creators are. I have no idea like its history or anything like that. I have no idea. I had no idea what happens in the game. All I know is that um, it incorporates like a uh, a class trial system. Somebody text me. It incorporates a uh, a class trial system or like similar to Ace Attorney. And uh, after the disappointment that was the Great Ace Attorney, uh, not only just because I um, I didn't like the character of Sherlock, but because the game itself was so awful, uh, I went into this feeling a little bit apprehensive because, you know, Ace Attorney was like my favorite visual novel series for a long time and seeing it go downhill this way kind of, kind of bummed me out. Uh, not going to lie. Danganronpa is better than the great Ace Attorney. In fact, I would say it's probably better than most of the Ace Attorney games, period. Like not, not my, uh, not my favorite game in the series, Trials and Tribulations, but most of them. Uh, Danganronpa does a great job establishing its characters, its setting, its concept, and constantly keeping you invested in spite of all the uh, the anime nonsense happening. I uh, I, uh, I haven't finished the game yet. I'm actually going to uh, stream it again in about, uh, about an hour from now. Um, but I, I, uh, I finished Case 4, if, uh, uh, if you're wondering where I am at the moment. Um, and uh, every single time, even when, like, I knew what was going on, even when, like, I was able to figure things out, like, the mysteries in this aren't great, right? You really feel a sense of impact. You really care about, like, what's happening to these characters and uh, being involved in what's happening to them. In fact, this is the most involved I felt with a game in a long, long, long time. Like, I could, I could kind of feel myself, like, tearing up a little bit at the end of uh, Case 4 when the uh, best girl kicks the bucket. I I was just, I was super, super upset. I was, uh, I don't think I mentioned it on stream, but I was, like, I was torn to bits. Like, I was, I was so, ups I, I was so angry. Uh, that's how attached to attached to her that I was. That's how I was, how attached I was to all of these characters. Well, except like Yasuhiro, who is just, he's too dumb to be likable. The fucking, fucking Yasuhiro. Okay, so <laughs> I've suspected him of doing it at least twice and nothing's happened. Like, he's the ultimate red herring character, right? I don't know what it is, but Case four was just ridiculous, dude. I I had no idea what to make of that, but um, yeah, I um, uh, I really, really, really enjoy the characters, their interactions, their opinions, their uh, their responses to things, uh, the general the general way the the proceedings play out. Like it, it just feels unlike most modern Ace Attorney games. Um, stuff like. Uh, yeah, I'd say, like, everything after Apollo Justice. It, it doesn't feel super padded out. It doesn't feel like it's going on longer than it needs to. Like, it goes through its concept, and then it moves on to the next thing. I, I, I find it very shocking how uh, how many twists they're, they're able to throw at you, like, uh, in such a short time. And uh, I think that's one of the reasons I'm so invested in this series, as opposed to, uh, to Ace Attorney. Because in Ace Attorney... There was this. There was always this feeling of uh, like later on that like some characters are untouchable, like nothing's ever going to happen to them. Like after after Ace Attorney three, you kind of feel like yeah, nothing's gonna happen to Trucy, nothing's gonna happen to Edgeworth, nothing's gonna happen to Phoenix. Like it's like there's no there's no sense of risk. There's no stakes. Like it, it's difficult to feel invested. Like in some of these some of these later Ace Attorney cases, uh, Dagon Rampa does a way better job of getting you invested. Uh, invested, Like, uh, during the investigation segments, where you're, um, well, during, like, the daily life segments, which uh, might be considered filler by some people, you're getting to know, like, the, the people you're with, you get to understand their personalities more, and you might actually be able to piece together uh, what happens, um, what's going to happen. And that's a, that's a really cool thing for me, in which that, like, it's... Uh, 
this is done in a way in which uh, it's organic and natural, but you can still kind of uh, see, you can still kind of figure it out if you put in the effort, right? Like I, I, I really, really enjoyed that about it. Um, I, uh, I hope the series doesn't go to shit. Like if all three games are good, like this good, I could see this, uh, I could see myself declaring this one of the, uh, the best visual novel trilogies I've ever played. Cause uh, I've been both, I, I, I don't like justice for all. I don't like, uh, uh, there, I, I think the original Ace Attorney is a little bit too simplistic. Um, I don't like the original Ace Attorney trilogy that much either. Uh, again, I've been kind of down on Ace Attorney lately, but... Uh, after the great Ace Attorney, I'm kind of like, eh, am I really a fan of this franchise anymore? But uh, Danganronpa has really rekindled my love for this kind of thing. I just, I, uh, I, I just love everything about it, and uh, I, I cannot wait to see what happens next.